So we have faithfulness. Now, I was, as I was shuffling the cards, I was getting that somebody is taking a leap of faith out on um, something to do something. But this person is someone that is trusting in God. It's like they're trusting in their self. They trust in God and they trust in the universe. Yeah, somebody is very much devoted to the needs of their soul. So this person is in the energy of faithfulness. This could be learning life lessons or um, doing things that involve their soul purpose. Yeah, this is self this is also self belief somebody is believing in their self and they're taking a leap you know a leap of faith to do something we have the knight of pentacles so this could have took a long time this person could have went through some type of distractions. They could have been responsible or um, taking care of some type of responsibilities. People could have depended on this person a lot. And this is what slowed this person down. Yeah, they were blinded to something, to a source. This is someone who was not listening to their own intuition. So they would be able to make better choices. So it kept them stalling, kept them undecided. They could have felt like they were suffering, but somebody was only distracted and slowed down because they needed to restore peace in order to move forward. This could have been different problems that um, were caused and they weren't expecting to go through these problems. And it slowed that person down, but now they're finally moving forward. This could have also been holding on to people and it allowed them to not move forward. Yeah, it was just keeping them in the energy of holding back. You have the page of cups. And then you have the sun. They have temperance. So somebody is admiring another person with the two of cups, temperance. They're admiring how um, balanced out you are, how calm you are, how grounded you are. This is someone who wants to come towards you to open up to like a relationship or a partnership. They view you as someone that is very peaceful, very positive. And they feel like whatever direction that you're headed or the direction that you're in is going to be um, successful if you stay on that path. The path of positivity. So they could be admiring you and this is giving this person hope from things that they were holding back from, this could be just moving forward. Things that they were blinded to. You have the six of wands. And this person admires your progress. This is someone that respects you. They hold you in high honor. Um, and you have this person in the energy of seeing things way different. Things that they were blinded to with the hangman being here because they were stalling, but they were admiring you or they are admiring you. Now, this could be someone that has some type of emotion and um, they didn't know how to express it. So they did not come towards you. They just stayed in the energy of stalling, but they've been watching you. You have the Ace of Swords. This is someone who wants to say something. Then you have the Seven of Cups. And then the Four of Swords. Yeah, this person found out the truth about some type of illusion 
and they've laid it completely to rest. Somebody could have lied to this person to try to confuse this person. Yeah, the king of wands in the reverse. This is someone who has some type of opinion about this person's view of you, how they admired you. And they overly did something to confuse that person. This is somebody that they could just no longer tolerate. They feel like that person is someone that um, did something ruthless. Or they were just saying things out of anger. This could be them having some type of low self-esteem. This could be jealousy or something like that. But they see the confusion. They see the truth in that person. It's like that person exposed who they truly are. Yeah, this, the moon popping out in the reverse. It's like something is no longer hidden about this person. They've gained clarity about who this person truly is to them. And they look at that person as someone that's deceptive. You have the Ten of Swords popping out in the reverse. And then you have the Ten of Wands. So if they felt like they were going to be able to end something out or put an end to how this person viewed you, it didn't work that way. They're stressed out. They're overwhelmed. They're frustrated. You have the Page of Swords. And in the tower, yeah, they cannot believe. So this could be somebody that sat back and talked about you in a negative way. They're finding out whatever this person said about you. These could be lies. Um, they found out all oh, this was not true. Now this person is weighed down with a lot of guilt. They didn't expect for you to be in the Six of Wands energy. They don't expect for you to be in this peaceful, calm, uh, positive energy. They don't know what to do. Because they, they had so many opinions or something to say about this person and how they viewed you. And if they just kept talking negative and kept talking negative, they separated themselves from that person so they would be able to find the answers um, that they needed to find gain mental clarity you have ghosted yeah they wanted this person to ignore you um text messages here they wanted this person to not communicate like ignore communicating with you ignore your text messages or something like that don't call you or ignore your phone call or something like that. This could have been involving money with finances being here. And then you have snake. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing trifling mistakes. Somebody made a, a trifling mistake. Um, and it's because they were dealing with their enemy. They feel like they made some type of trifling mistake if they allowed this person to distract them and slow them down. They could have tried to persuade this person to betray you or cause some type of deception to you and then ignore you, but it didn't turn out this way or something like that. You have mystery. They could have wanted you to be confused. Yeah, social media. It's like now they're watching you and they're confused. This was stupid. You have legal matters. And then you have surrender. So 
somebody could have gotten um, into a legal situation or uh, somebody could have caused some type of deception and they felt like another person would be worried about money while they were in this legal situation. This did not work. Whatever the situation is, it has been balanced out. Um, somebody was released from some type of legal situation. It ended. And another person felt like they were just going to sit back and watch something and um, act like they were confused if they tried to create a legal situation for you. And this would just be unknown. So yeah, trifling mistake. Whoever the person is, they could have did something trifling, like lie involving a legal situation. This is somebody that just don't care. They do things in a reckless way. They're very ruthless. But they did this because that person admired you. It's like they cannot have, they couldn't have that person viewing you for who you truly are. So they wanted to create some type of illusion. And they felt like they would be able to sit back and watch, but they're shocked. It's like you're in this temperance energy. The sun is here, very positive. And the situation that they could have lied to try to have you in, you're no longer going through that situation. Yeah, this was a lie with mass being here. This person lied involving a legal situation. Or they could have had somebody lie to try to make you look a certain way because they didn't like how that person admired you. They wanted to control who that person admired or something like that. This is something serious. You have ex-lover. This could have been an ex. So whoever this ex is, they lied. Now, how they knew this person was secretly admiring you, I don't know. Maybe they found out through someone that um, this secret admirer told and they were connected to whoever this ex is. So they had this hidden motive. They lied um, involving a legal situation and they were watching, you know, because they felt like you don't know them. You're never going to know that it was them who created some type of confusion. <laughs> yeah now they're stressed out they thought they were going to watch you going through a lot of stress anxiety this is somebody that has low self-esteem like that person is very desperate this person did something very trifling um involving a legal situation and it was a lot of lies that were told but whatever lie they told it was to cover up something so this person was trying to cover up something. And they felt like if they did this to you, that person would no longer admire you. But it would still conceal something that they wanted to keep hidden. Divine timing. So something was supposed to happen at a certain time and they didn't want it to. So whoever this person is, this person is someone you were definitely destined to meet. But this, this ex was trying to get that person to avoid you. Don't answer the phone for you. Don't communicate with you. Don't contact you or something like that. And this could have definitely involved some type of um, money problems or, you know, finances. But it's like, whatever this was, it did not work. You're not worried about any money. You're in this temperate sun energy. And um, you're, you're too focused on something different. So now that person is stressed out because they're no longer attached to this person. You have toxic relationship. And then you have change. Yeah. It's like somebody did something that they felt would keep something hidden. That they didn't want to come out. And they also felt like a lie that they told involving a legal situation would be a mystery and stay hidden. And they would sit back and watch another person fall into depression. This did not work. It made someone realize that something needed to change. The relationship was too toxic. They're in a codependent relationship with another person and they, they're not seeing any growth. You have reconciliation. 
So yeah, somebody is definitely getting ready to um be in union with, with you. There's a reunion that's getting ready to happen. You have unfinished business. And then you have regret. Then you have proposal. And then between the lines. And then breakup. So whoever this person is, they separated themselves from that person and they could have went back. Now this could go, this could be one thing or it could be something else. Um, they went back to this person and they were in regret, stuck in guilt because they feel like they made a bad decision. Now they could have offered this person, um, they could have gotten engaged to this person or something like that, but the, it ended in a separation because they ended up going back to this person. Somebody was not supposed to look back. It's like they were supposed to be changing something in order to reunite with you or reconcile with you. And it just ended up, um, something is just over. Or this could be, you know, that person, you know, realized that they needed to change whatever this toxic relationship was. And um, they're in regret because they didn't know something was hidden. Like they didn't know that that person did whatever they did. You have snake. Yeah, somebody's definitely finding out that they were dealing with a snake. You have snake out here twice. This person did something very malicious because they knew something was supposed to happen at a certain time with you and that person, but they wanted to keep them in a pattern like where it was always unfinished business with them. Because a toxic relationship, this is always going to be something that triggers you. Fighting, arguing, codependency issues. Having self-doubt, not believing in yourself, not being able to grow or make any progress. You just feel stuck. And this is what they wanted for that person. It's like they were trying to slow that person down to keep them where they wanted that person. And this is somebody that you don't know. So it's like they thought that they were very clever strategic with what they did in this person that was admiring you they would never find out this deception led back to them yeah you have the golden mirror this is somebody that is definitely um self-absorbed they only think about their self this is someone who only cared about what they wanted they don't want what's best for that person and if they knew that you were someone that they were supposed to reunite with, you're that person's true to a cups, they didn't want you to think, they didn't want that person to think that you were someone that was best for them. They were love bombing this person. This is someone that's accustomed to getting what they want. Yeah, but everything came out with the dragonfly being here. They found out what this person did. Or they're finding out just how malicious this person was. You have engagement ring. And then you have girl talk. Now this person could have, you know, paraded around and told a lot of people that this person came back towards them. 
and um, got engaged to them or something like that. It could have been the talk of the town. They wanted to push this out. They wanted everyone to be happy for them. They wanted this person to feel like um, they were doing the right thing by giving this person what they want. But this person was making strategic moves behind the scenes to keep that person in the two of swords. Blinded to what they really should have been doing. And that's moving forward. Yeah, and focusing on their self with self-indulgence. Yeah, so they would be able to ascend with ascending being here. I like you. So this person has romantic feelings for you. No matter what this person tried to do to get this person to change their view or their perspective about you or the way they admired you, it just did not work. It's like they liked you more and more. Yeah, palm tree. However they felt about you, it grew. You have healing heart popping out in the reverse. This person felt like whatever this lie that was told in the justice system, you would never be able to come back from this. That person would never free themselves from some type of toxic um, relationship. This is somebody that thought they had control of divine timing. I'm so dumb. Yeah, girl with the snake. That person thought that they had more power than God. And they ended up sabotaging their self with Hammer being here. They sabotaged the connection that they had with that person. You have Coffin. Yeah, something is over. I don't know why I'm getting this, but whoever this person is, if this is a twin and they were dealing with a karmic soulmate, this person did not know whatever they did to you would affect that person. And this would affect them in a way where, you know, they would want to focus on their self, take out the time to heal, realize their self-worth, look at different things that they did not like about their self and change it. Everything turns to light. So everything have been illuminated. This is someone that is definitely working to improve their self now that they found out the truth. Yeah, somebody is allowing their self to grow and become stronger with um, this lesson that they have learned. It's like they were slowed down because they just weren't aware. But now they're moving forward. 